What's up, everybody? I'm Tyler. That's Jair. We're at Corn Balls. It is 12:44 right now at night. It's 9:44, but it feels like 12:44 even like earlier for me, just because like yeah, I've been doing work all day. Like I genuinely have notes for this post, which I never fucking do, like um, ever. Anyways, yeah, we came up with this idea kind of last minute, but we want to talk about films specifically film scores and soundtracks the score okay. you guys didn't know it was like kind of like background music typically orchestrated to elevate a yeah. scene and yeah. a soundtrack it can be commercial songs or songs made for that specific soundtrack yeah. but most of the time it involves vocals stuff like that yeah without further ado let's just get into it I'm going to start it off with a pretty basic pick and it's a soundtrack it is uh Black Panther the soundtrack so I'm a big Marvel guy. I'm a I'm a big Marvel guy, and I really appreciate what Black Panther did as a whole. It's a pretty good movie, in my opinion. And I think the soundtrack here works very well with it. While I'm going to go into this more of as like a solo album when talking about it, because it it's just a, that's what it doesn't really impact the movie that much. You have the credits with the Scissor song and Kendrick, and it's 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 really nice. Like when the movie ends, it fits perfectly great cre ending credit song but throughout the movie the songs don't play a big role in the movie like my yeah. other picks but as a whole uh, i think this soundtrack is pretty decent on its own if you want to listen to it kendrick lamar is kind of just like the main thing here and he does great um i think it fits decently in the movie um but yeah short cool it's cool but that's the basic all i gotta say about those black all right soundtrack. all right um, well, let's just start mine off with a bang. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the score to my favorite trilogy, like, in my favorite franchise of all time, which is Star Wars, you know. Yeah. I know. My favorite Star Wars score is what I'm gonna be talking about specifically, and that's the one to Revenge of the Sith, which is a prequel. Um, the prequels are overhated, but, you know, we're not gonna talk, we're, we're not gonna talk about film too much in this. This soundtrack does the best job at matching the themes of like this movie because this movie is dark as fuck it's depressing and that's exactly what john williams brings here like it's depressing as fuck it's spacey as hell obviously because star wars yeah and honestly it, it's just beautiful from front to back main title is peak music Unfortunately, this is not the soundtrack with Cantina Band. The dun, 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 yeah, dun. that's classic. That's a fucking it, Cantina it, Band it, over it really ACDC. They're not ready for that. Any day. And yeah, exactly. That's what I was Any say. Any day. But yeah, no. This, in my opinion, is just beautiful from start to finish. Obviously, every score for a movie fits the vibe well but i think that this one is like one of the best showcases of that this is perfect and yes this next pick i might be cheating i i kind of might be cheating but we have a magical mystery tour by the beatles um guys i'm gonna admit i have not seen the movie that correlates with this album this is my favorite Beatles album. I'm kind of a poser because, like I said, I haven't seen the movie. Um, But, dude, this album is just transcending. It has some of the best Beatles songs easily. Strawberry Fields. Strawberry Fields. And then my favorite song of all... One of my favorite songs of all time. Top 10. I Am The Walrus. That yeah. song is experimental goodness, dude. This, this entire album, I want to see how it plays out in the film. I shouldn't be talking about this. But I am anyways. It's just it's just amazing. Some of the best Beatles songs, the best Beatles album. Um, and All hopefully right. the film is just as good. Yeah. All right. For my next one, I have this one on vinyl. I was lucky to pick it up at a record store. Shout out to Nick Howland. This is this that guy is the only reason why I was able to pick up Nick this on vinyl. Oh. The Shrek film score to Shrek One. First of all, not only is this one of the best albums of all time, but Shrek is one of the best films of all time. Better than any Quentin Tarantino. It bodies <laughs> everything. I don't That's care. True. Shrek is a cinematic masterpiece. Okay, this is not the soundtrack. The soundtrack is good. It's got, you know, bad reputation. All star. It's got all the good. Yeah, it, it's it's got a ton of classics. I think the uh, soundtrack on Shrek 2 is superior with Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. And like, I think it has uh, fucking David Bowie on it. Shit like that. But that's not the point. I'm talking about the film score for the first one. And let me tell you, this is fucking 
lost yeah. goodness. It is from fucking amazing. To that fairy tale. Fairy tale. Oh my so god! Incredible. There's so many tracks on here that are like so fucking good, and like by the end of the song, you're fully satisfied, and you're like, wait a minute, that was a minute long. Fairy tale. Escape from the dragon. Fiona kicks ass. So fucking lush. Beautifully done. I mean, DreamWorks is responsible for a lot of masterpieces. Shrek, a lot Wallace of and ass Gromit, too. Mr. Mr. P. Booty and Seaman. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to end this off with Fiona chose to be an ogre over being white. That is all I'm gonna say. Next <laughs> I just realized something. You did all scores and I did all soundtrack. Wow. Yeah, right. I just realized that. Yeah. All right, that's I'll, I'll, how about I'll do all soundtracks next time. That would be cool. Yeah, that's cool. All, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, the next up, I want to just do two and one, but technically they're basically in the same lane. Um, okay. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One and Volume Two, awesome mixes. I am a huge fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, it's mm -hmm. some of the best Marvel films ever. I think that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is uh, the most underrated Marvel film of all time, and the soundtracks on these, there's nothing more to say about them except they're just 80s classics. Like, they are so, so fun. They they will lift your spirits anytime. You just throw the soundtrack on, put it on shuffle, listen to it front to back, do whatever you want. Your spirits will be lifted. Fucking Mr. Blue Sky by Electric Orchestra. You have Bohemian Rhapsody, which is obvious. Kiro Kiro Bonito better, though. And, like, come on, you, you they're just full of classics. Like, these are just full yeah. of classics. They will lift your spirits. It's it's just great shit. It's it, it's just great shit. There's nothing more to say about it. I just hope you know the Chris Pratt Mario movie is better. Has a better soundtrack. Let's see which Chris Pratt soundtrack would be better. This next one that I am talking about is a compilation. It's a it's a score, but it's a compilation of all of the Godzilla, uh, all the scores from the Godzilla films from the Showa era, which was 1954 to 1975. I mean, all of this. It's It's got the score from the first Godzilla, the score from Godzilla vs. King Kong, Godzilla Raids Again. This is pretty fucking great. It's suspenseful as hell. It's enjoyable. I throw this on all the time. I feel like Late you can, night. I feel like, I feel like when you have this on, you can just feel the intensity and like, yeah, like the action exactly. of exactly. Godzilla. I, I haven't watched all of these Godzilla films, but I love everything that I've heard from the scores, and I've loved what I've watched. I've watched the first Godzilla, I've watched Godzilla vs. King Kong, I've watched All Monsters Attack, I think. Yeah, I wish I could be standing here with that huge Light in the Attic compilation that they released of all the different color-coded things. Jer was my gonna girlfriend get won't let me. Dude, okay? you have to. Fuck your girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's wait, little... wait, no, I, I didn't mean that. Godzilla compilation from the Showa era, good. Um, anyways, guys, thanks you for making. Anyways, guys, thank you, thank for, you making... for making it to the end of this video. We've got some great fucking videos down the line, so you should stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more in depth um parts of this series. Yeah, this, this post is, is pretty short. On this post part. is pretty short. Yeah. Uh, Comment your favorite shit soundtracks. Comment your shit comment cover. your favorite type of shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what Jared's soundtracks trying. we should cover. Comment some ones. Yeah. Definitely do that. Hey guys, me and Jared are gonna go cuddle together and go to sleep. Uh bye everybody. Bye.